Well, overwhelmed by mounting debt in a down economy, many desperate consumers are turning to debt settlement companies. Yeah, some even fall prey to unscrupulous firms, winding up in even worse financial shape. Well, here is how to avoid a debt settlement disaster. When times were good, Robert Haley was having a good time. Vacations, you know, visiting friends, all this sort of thing, going on trips, on cruises. Then the bills piled up and the calls from creditors started. When the hounding became so hard to ignore, Haley answered an ad from a debt settlement company. But I thought, oh goody, here's a way I can maybe dump some of this debt. They sound great. They sound terrific. You know, pay pennies on the dollar. Unfortunately, they're not telling you the whole truth. Since 2003, the Federal Trade Commission has sued 20 debt relief companies for deceptive practices. A spokesman said the commission has active investigations underway, but would not say how many companies are being targeted. The FTC is proposing changes in how these companies market themselves and how they get paid. Companies are sitting there collecting literally thousands of dollars in advance before doing any work. The incentive to actually do that work and incur the cost to do that work is not there because the firms have already been paid all the money. After six months with the debt settlement company, Haley was out three grand. His credit rating had dropped and his interest rate skyrocketed. It was, you know, low originally. And by the time I was at the end of this, it was like 29.5%. Haley finally got the help he needed through credit counseling. A lot of people just need to be directed in a manner so that they are able to go through and find a path out of debt. Haley is now making reduced monthly payments on his credit card, slowly escaping a mountain of debt. You know, everything is a little bit tight. So, you know, but you just continue doing the best you can. That's all you can do, really. Among a number of rule changes, the FTC is proposing an end to upfront payments for any debt relief service, something the industry is resisting, of course. The proposed Debt Settlement Consumer Protection Act of 2010 would also impose licensing and other regulations on debt settlement companies, similar to regulations that already exist for credit counseling services.